פרשת ניצבים, פרשת ניצבים, וילך, and um, it's found in Deuteronomy chapter 29. Just read this in English real quick. Uh, it says, You are all standing this day before the Lord, your God, the leaders of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, every man of Israel. Okay, jump into the Hebrew for this verse. Okay. So this is um, an Aleph and a Batach and a and a, um, a Tav with a Segol and a Mem Sofit. So this is A Tem. A tem. And this is um, plural you. Plural you. You all. Y'all. Um, this is the trope mark or the accent mark. And so the accent is on tem. A tem. Um, a ta would be you masculine. At is you feminine. A tem is you, um, you all um, masculine or a mixed group. And for a, a, a group of females, it would be a ten with a nun, so feet at the end, a ten. Okay, so this is a tem, you all, y'all. And this is a, um, this is a kadma. Kadma says, kadma. So this is a tem. And then this right here is a nun with a chirik. This is ni. This is a tsadi with a kamatz. This is this says tsa. And this is a vet with a chirik. And the yud and the mem sofit together will say vim, vim, nitzavim. And this is um, pro plural, um, standing. Okay, you all are standing. Um, and it is not the regular um, stand, uh, which is la'amod. Um, this is like you are you are taking a stand like for an issue or for a cause that kind of stand not the normal kind of stand so you all are are taking a stand we'll say today uh, sorry um so this is mapach and mapach says mapach so this is nitzavim okay this is atem nitzavim and this is a hey and a patach which says ha and this is a yud with a vav and the dot over it makes it a cholem. And this is a mem sofit. So this is yom. Ha yom. Ha yom literally means the day and it means today in Hebrew. Ha yom. This is a pashta and it says pashta. So this goes ha yom. Okay, so this is atem nitzavim ha yom. So this is you all are standing today, or you all are taking a stand today. Um, and this is um, a kaf um, with a um, kibbutz, which says ku. So this is ku. A lamed with a sheva, which says le. And a kaf with a um, segol and a mem sofit. And this is chem. Ku lechem. Ku lechem. Um, if you recognize the, the kaf and the lamed, this is usually kol, which means all. Kulechem is all of y'all. <laughs> all of you all. Um, okay. Um, I guess it uh, adds emphasis to the statement. And this is katon. Katon says, katon. So this is kulechem. And this is a separator. So this is one whole phrase together. Okay. So this is, atem nitzavim hayom kulechem. And then you would maybe put a comma right there. Next next uh, clause is these three words, and it ends with the et nachta. Et nachta is a separator. So next phrase is um, lamed with a chirik and a fe, and a sheva. The sheva is going to be silent. This is leaf, leaf. And this is a nun with a tsere. This is ne, leaf, ne. And this means literally to the face of, but it means in front of. And, um, or to the to the front of, or to the face of. Okay, and this is a tipcha. Tipcha says, tipcha. So this is lifne. Um, and this is yurhevave, and we'll say adonai. And adonai is with the um, munach. This munach 
precedes the Enakta. So this says, Munak. So this is Adonai. And so before um, Hashem, and this is um, an Aleph with a Segol and a Lamed. And this is El, El, and this Cholam right here says O, Elo, and the He with its Sere, and the Yud together will say He, Elo, He, and the Chaf with a, with a Segol and a Mem Sofit says Chem, Elo, He, Chem. And this is the Etnachta. This is where the accent is at Chem, and this says Etnachta. So this is Elo, He, Chem. So this is. Lifne Adonai Elohechem. Elohechem is your God or y'all's God. Actually, it's plural. Y'all's God. Okay. And this is a resh. Okay, so your God is Elohecha. I'm just God is um, Elohim. Okay. Elohim is God. Elohe is God of. Elohecha is your God. Elohechem is y'all's God. <laughs> Plural, you. Okay. This is a resh um, with a kamatz. It says ra, and together with this silent aleph, ra. Um, this is a shin with a um, sere, and the yud together will say she, ra she. And this is a chaf with a segol and a mem sofit will say chem. And if you remember this um, chem from over here. It's again your, like plural your, okay? So this is this makes it a plural possessive. Um, um, okay. This looks like this is this is the word rosh. This is related to the word rosh, um, which means heads. Um, or it could mean it, it it's, which some, which also means leaders, the heads of, okay. And another thing that I learned today. Um, from uh, Rabbi Yosef Serbiansky, is this could also mean like your thinkers, the ones who think, the ones that are your head, um, who, you know, give, uh, yeah, think for you. The leaders, our leaders think for us, right? Or at least teach us how to think. Um, okay. Rosh uh, uh, is you, your plural leaders, your leaders. Okay. And this is a Munach. Munach says, before the Ravi, it says, Munach. So this is Roshechem. Okay. Um, and this is a Shin with a Hirik. Again, this is She. And with the Vet, it's going to say Shiv. And this this is going to be silent. This Shiva. Shiv. And this Tet with a Tzere. And the Yud together is Te. Shiv Te. And this is a chaf with a, with a um, segol and a mem sofit says chem. And again, this means you all. Um, Shif de chem is y y all of y'all's tribes. <laughs> okay? So this is the heads of your tribes. And this is one clause. These, these two together make one clause, these two words. So the heads of your tribes. Okay? Um, Revi e, this, this diamond right here is. Revi, so this is Shiftechem, and this is a Zayin with a Chirik, and this is Z with a Kuf, it's a Zik, Zik, um, the Shiva is silent, Zik, and this is a Nun with a Tzere and a Yud together, it says Ne, Zik, Ne, and a Chaf, and a Segol with a Mem Sofit, says Chem, Zik, Ne, Chem, Zik, Ne, Chem, um, is a, um, uh, your, you, your alls, <laughs> y'all's elders. Okay, um, so I, I forgot the singular. I think it's zakan or zaken. Ziknechem is your elders. Okay, the, your older people. And this is a pashta right here, and this is pashta. So this is ziknechem. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so this is going to start a new clause, and it, this this right here, this uh, katon will end this clause. So ziknechem, and this word is together to make another clause. So this is a vav with a shiva in the beginning of a word. Shiva is usually sounded, or I think it's always sounded at the beginning of the word. V, and this is a shin right here, and this is a cholem. What usually when you see... I think 100% of the time, I, I think, when you see a dot over both 
um, arms of the shin, it's going to be a shin, and this is going to be a cholem, which means o. Oh, okay, so sho, and this is a, a tet with a shava, um, and this is going to be sounded um, after a cholem, it's usually sounded, so shote, shote, and this is a reisha that's said in the yud together is re, and this is a chaf with a segol and a mem sofit, it says chem. Say, veshote re chem. And again, chem means you all, plural. Shotere um, chem is officers, okay? Shotere chem. And this this um, could um, prob probably uh, refers to the law enforcers. And in modern Hebrew, this word refers to the police, okay? So, veshotere chem. And shotere chem has a katon, which, sh which says, Katon. So this is Veshotarechem. So your elders and your officers. Okay. Net, last and final clause. This is a kaf with a lamid and this says uh, with an cholem which says ko, kol. Kol means all or, or every or each depending on the context. Um, and so that's kol. This is a tipcha which says tipcha. So this is Cool. And this is um, this is a um, so this call is related to this word right here, kulachem. They both have the kol part right here, right? It means all, and the chem is, is it means you all, all of you all. <laughs> this is just all, okay? Um, so and so it's the same chem as here, you all. The chem ending is you you all. Okay, the Aleph with the Hirik and the Yud together will say E, and this is a Shin, so it's, it's going to say Ish. Ish, again, is man, and um, Isha is woman. Ishim is um, men, plural. Um, okay. And um, so, Kol Ish is every man. And, okay, and um, this is a Mercha. Mercha says Mercha, so this is Ish, so this is Go ish, and this is a yud of the chirik, which says ye. This is a sin together. We'll say yis. The shiva is silent, and then this kamat says ra, and then this sere with the lamid is el yisrael, and this is a sof pasuk. Sof pasuk is like a period, and it says sof pasuk. So this is yisrael. Okay. So let's do let's do it from the beginning. So, Atem. So you all, Nitzavim, which is, um, are taking a stand. Hayom today, Kulechem, all of you. Um, Lifne before Adonai Hashem, Elochechem, you you're all's God. <laughs> Um, so this is Rashechem. This is um, um, the your leaders. Um, Shivtechem. There's an implied of, and this means your tribes. Okay, your leaders of your tribes. And this is Ziknechem, which means your elders. Veshoterechem, which is and your officers. Um, kol al ish, um, man or every man, Israel. So this is of Israel. Okay. This is a tet with a um with a patak that says ta. This is a um a pe, um, and this you are we are gonna sound this shiva because. Even though it's usually silent in the middle of the word, but because there's a dagesh here, we're going to sound it tap pe, tap pe, um, instead of tap. Okay, it's tap pe. This is a chaf with a segol and the memso feet says chem again, right? Just like this, tap chem. Okay, and tap chem says uh, is has a munach before the katon munach says munach. So this is. Tapechem, and this means all y'all's little ones or little little children. Okay, mm, okay. Tapechem, and this is a nun with a shiva, um, and this is ne, and this is um, 
a shin with its sere and the yud together will say she. And this is um, a chaf with a segol and a mem sofit, which says chem. And this is, um, so this is nishechem, and it means all your women, okay? Or wives, um, you could also say wives or women, okay? Nishechem, um, okay. And this is a katon, and this is katon. So, um, this is nishechem, so this is Tapechem nashechem. Okay, so your little ones and your your wives. And this is a vav with a shiva. It's gonna say ve. And this is a gimel with its sere, which will say ge, ve ge. And this is a resh with a shiva, which is um r a quick r again, ve ge r. And this is a chaf sofit with a kamatz, which will say cha. So, v'gerecha. This word has two um, trope marks. It has a munach right here and a katon right here. So, this is munach and this is katon. So, this is v'gerecha. Okay. V'gerecha. And so, v means and. Um, ger is um, a, a sojourner or um, um, an immigrant. Okay. And ha is um, your, okay, so, and your stranger, or and your immigrant, or and your sojourner, okay. Um, so, meaning to say, it was not just um, the native born of Israel that were um, stand, taking a stand with them. It was also the convert, okay, so this, this, this is oftentimes translated as convert depending on the context of the verse. And, and in this context, it, 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 couldn't be, it can be um, interpreted as convert because um, it's going to talk about um, the covenant, right? Okay, so, and this is um, an aleph with a patach, a tef patach, reduced patach, which is a quicker ah, ah. And this is a shin with a segol and a reish, this is a sher, a sher. Um... Okay, Asher means that which or who, and this is a tibcha, and this is um, a tibcha, and this is Asher. But really quickly, I wanted to say that this word in and of itself is a clause. So it, there, so to me that kind of sounds like there's emphasis on this. So your little ones and your wives is one clause, right? And then it says and. And your sojourners, or and your strangers, or and, and your and the immigrants, okay, um, kind of makes that you know uh, its own thought, which gives it I think feel a special meaning because it is its own thought, um, because it certainly didn't have to be because here we have um, little ones and the women together, right? Anyways, okay, asher, asher, and this is a bet with a shiva, so this is be. Um, so this is in, and this is a a, a, a kuf with a segol, which is ke, and this is a resh with a segol and a, a vet. This is rev kerev, and this is um, uh, in the together. This phrase means in your midst. Okay, be kerev, be kerev. Um, okay, um, and this is a uh, munach, munach. So this is. Bekerev, so the accent is on ke. Bekerev, and this is a mem with a patach and says ma. And um, here, this the line right here means that there's a little bit of an accent here, but the main accent is on this syllable. So ma, and this is a a a, a, a chet with a chatef patach. This is a reduced patach, so just a quick ha. Ma ha, and this is an a nun with a um, sagol and a yud together. It says ne. This is the accent right here. Ma cha ne, and a chaf with a kamatz cha. Ma cha ne cha. Okay. All right. So this is a little bit more accented. This is a reduced the accent. This is the the major accent, and this is just regular. Ma cha ne cha. Okay. At which um. I'll say this is etnakta and et, etnakta says um, etnakta. So this is 
Machanecha. And this is a mem with its set it. It's me. And this is a chet with a cholem. It says cho, mecho. And this is a, a, a tet with a, um, a tzere and, and a vet. It's tev, mecho, tev. And this means... Um, this means your camp. This is the one is, that means and the one who chops. Sorry, this is sorry. This is among your midst in your camps. Okay, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. And mechotev is the one and and from the one who chops. Okay, sorry, mechotev from the one who chops. Mechotev is munak. So this is mechotev, um, and this is the one who chops. Some wood, okay, from the one chops wood, and this is an ein with its sere, and it says e, and this is its sari with a segol, and a yud together says tse, and this is a chaf sofit with a with a chamatz, eight secha, eight secha. Um, this is your wood, okay, eight is like tree, and cha is your, um, eight secha. So from the one who cho uh, chops your wood. Um, okay, um, and then this is um. Um, an ayin with a with a um, with a patak and, and a dalid, and this is um, um, av. This uh, this means until or to, okay. And this is a tibcha. It says tibcha. So this is ad. Um, so from the one who chops your wood to, um, and this is a shin with a with a cholem. This is sh. sh and this is an aleph with its sere and a vet. This is ev, sho sho ev, okay sho ev. And this means the the drawer or the one who draws, sho ev. This is a merchat says merchas. This is sho ev. And this is a mem with its sere and the yud together says me. And this is a a, a mem with a segol and a yud which says me. And this is a chaf. Um, with the kamat feet with the kamat says ha memecha. This line right here gives it the accent memecha. Otherwise, the accent would be on the last syllable memecha. Memecha is you. You can see the word mime here, right? Mem yud mem. This is water. So from the one to the one who draws your water, chaz is your memecha. Okay. And uh, Sof Pasuk says, Sof Pasuk, so this is Memecha. I'll do one more. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so this is a Lamed with a Shiva. And it says Le. And this is an Ayn with a Kamatz. It says A. Ah. Um, and this is a Vet with a Shiva. We're going to sound the Shiva because... A kamatz preceded it, and when a kamatz precedes the shava, you will sound it. So le ave, and this is a resh with a shava, and you're gonna sound that too, because when there's two shavas together, you usually sound it. So le ave re, and this is a chaf sofit with a kamatz, which says cha, and this is the accent mark with the revi e. So le ave re cha. <coughs> So this is actually related to the word ivrit, or um, avar, which means to cross over. Um, so that this could mean like that, so that you, so that you can cross over. But in this context, it's so that you, sh so that you would enter, so that you should enter. Okay. Um, all right. Even though it is the same verb as. Uh, uh, and wor word root shares the same word root with the, the word um, ivrit, which is one who has crossed over. Okay. Um, so this is the uh, revi'i. So it says revi'i. So this is lavarecha. Okay. And this is a bet with a hirik and a, a vet together. Yeah, so and this this is going to be silent. This is shiva. Biv. Biv. And this is a, a resh with hirik and the yud and the tav together will say rit. Bivrit. So um, the b, the b um, um, prefix is. This is going to mean in, and rit is just like brit, which is covenant. Okay, so in in into the the covenant, um, and this is Adonai. So into the covenant of Adonai, um, and. 
then, okay, so this is Tavir, this accent mark right here, Bivrit. It says Tavir, so this is Bivrit. And this is the Mercha, so this is Mercha, so this is Adonai. And this is a, a Segol, with, in the Segol, it says E. Um, and then the Lamed with the Cholem says Lo, E, Lo. And this is a He with the um, Segol. I think, we're, did we already have that? Uh, not today, okay. Elohe, and um, together with the Segol and the Yud He, and this is the Chaf Sofit with the Kamatz, which says Cha, that means your. Elohecha, um, accent mark is on this, on the He. Elohecha, and this is, this says Tibcha, so this is Elohecha. Okay, so um, Adonai Elohecha, which means your God. Elohim is God, Elohecha is your God. And this is a, um, um, a vav with a, a dot through it, which says u, through u, over is a, a, so this is through u, and this is a vet, so this is, um, this, this shava is going to be silent, uv, um, and, um, this is, uh, an aleph with a kamat, which says a, uv, a, and this is a lamed with a kamat, which says la, and this is a, a tav with a vav and it, Dot over it says o, o, so to, so uv a la to, and um, this means his and his oath. Um, the o part makes it his, okay. And the 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 vet part means in, so and in his oath and into his oath, okay. Um, and this is a et nachta, so this is et nachta, so this is. Uv alato. Okay, and this is an an aleph with a achtef patak, which is a quick a. Ah. Oh, this is a asher. We've already had that asher, which is who that or which. And this is a pashta, which says pashta. This is ash asher. Um, and this is um, Adonai with a munach, which says Adonai. So asher Adonai. So that. Um, Hashem, and we had this Elohecha, and already your God, and this is a um, katon which says Elohecha, Elohecha. So that Adonai, your God, Hashem, your God, um, and this is a, a kaf with a cholem which is ko, and this is a resh with with tzere and a and a tav which says ret, koret. Um, okay, and it's, it's, um, Mercha, um, which is, um, so this is Koret, so, um, literally this is like, uh, cuts, but, um, as in cut off, and, and the reason why it, it's used is because with a covenant, it's kind of, that's kind of the verb that's used to say, um, to, to establish a covenant, you, you cut the covenant, and um, um, but but translated because we don't really have that in in English we just say makes or establishes um, the covenant and so um, this is a merchat says merchat this is koret and this is an ayin of the chirik and a mem and we're gonna sound the shiva because there's a dagesh in the mem. If you remember that rule, there's a dagesh in the in the word we're gonna sound in the letter we're gonna sound the shiva, even if it's in the middle of the word. Usually in the middle of the word the shiva is silent. So ime and this is a chaf with a, again this is the cha, right? Your imecha. Imecha. Im is with and cha is you. Imecha is with you. Um so um, establishes with you. Um this is a tip so this is Imecha, and we had this word earlier. This is Hayom. Hayom means today. Hayom. Hayom. So pasuk. Hayom today. Um. So let's. Uh, if whoever wants to trope with me, let's do it phrase by phrase now. And I and I want you to echo me. So then that way, then you know, I know that you're echoing me. Is that okay? We'll do our best. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'll do it phrase by phrase. Okay. Atem nitzavim hayom. Atem nitzavim hayom. Kulechem. Kulechem. 
לפני. אדוני אלוהיכם. ראשיכם, שבטיכם. ראשיכם, שבטיכם. זקניכם, ושוטריכם. כל איש ישראל. טפיכם נשיכם. וגרך 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 אשר בקרב מחניך מחוטב את שיחה עד שואב ממך לעברך בברית אדוני אלוהיך ובעל... סורי ובעלתו אשר אדוני אלוהיך כורת עמך היום. I'd like to invite you to visit my web- website at www.hebrewmime.com. That's H-E-B-R-E-W-M-A-Y-I-M.com. And you can click on the button to sign up for free lessons, free Hebrew lessons, to your email delivered every week or so. Sometimes I miss a week. Sometimes I'll send more than one email for that week. So again, just visit my website. HebrewMime.com, and um, I also have special sections here. Um, not only can you sign up for free Hebrew lessons to your email, but you can also get my playlist to learn the Aleph Bet, even Aleph Bet with Elmo. And we also ha- I also have a section on um, learning various Jewish prayers and blessings. Um, I also have, um, you can get, see all of the Hebrew lessons from Genesis to Deuteronomy. And what else? Oh, I have a section on ancient Hebrew. Learn how to pronounce um, the Hebrew letters in the ancient Hebrew pronunciation, the ancient Hebrew tongue. I have some lessons on how to trope or chant the Torah, specifically lessons for that. And um, and then I also um, have links to links to if you're interested in getting more formal biblical Hebrew lessons or modern Hebrew lessons from um, a good friend in, in Israel. So you can check that out as well. So just visit my website at HebrewMime.com. Shalom. Shalom, my name is Maim, 
and I'm a naturopathic herbalist and holistic life coach, and I'm the founder of the Aruka Holistic Life Academy. Our students learn how to become effective healers using nutrition, herbs, and other holistic healing methods. I have found that to become a holistic healer, you, number one, don't need to be licensed. Although some of our students are medical professionals, doctors, nurses, etc., but you don't need a medical degree or a license to become a holistic healer. Number two, you don't need to study for four or more years in college. And number three, you don't need hundreds of thousands of dollars for a medical for a medical degree or a nutrition degree or any other kind of expensive degree. I don't have any of these things yet I have built a profitable online health coaching business. And I'll tell you the eight things though that I have found that you do need. Without these eight things, healers are ineffective and lack confidence in being a holistic healer. And most holistic schools and certification programs don't incorporate all eight of these secrets, which is why Many graduate from them, from nutrition schools or health coaching schools or herbalist schools, etc., feeling inadequate as a healer. So I would like to share you, share with you my secrets on how I became an effective holistic healer and built a profitable online health coaching business. You can become the healer of your home and your community without the need for pharmaceutical drugs with dangerous side effects, hospitals, doctors, or even dentists. You can build a profitable online health coaching business without the need for years of college for an expensive degree. My mission is to show you how. Visit my website at www.aruka.com slash free to get my eight secrets on how to become an effective, holistic healer.